Praise Jesus. Father, we thank you for this morning and we commit ourselves into your hands for this time of devotion. We are asking that you would visit us. You would speak to us. You would help us. And you will intercede through us, O oh God. Let your will be done. Let our countenance be enlightened. And may we receive of your fullness this morning. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Brethren, this morning I would want to read, uh, starting from Matthew chapter 3, from verse 16 to 17. It says, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And I would want us to also quickly uh, read John chapter 7, 37 to 40. It says, In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, <clears throat> If any man test, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this speak he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him shall receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Christ Jesus was not yet glorified. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said of a truth, this is the prophet. He said of the truth, this is the prophet. And wherein as we ponder and reflect about these scriptures, Jesus comes and says, He that believed on me out of his belly or out of his heart shall flow rivers of living waters. And the previous passage we read spoke about the Holy Spirit descending upon Jesus in a bodily form as a dove. And in the, in, in, in the Bible, the Holy Spirit is, symbol, is typically or, or, or portrayed or symbolized as a dove. Or it could also be um, as the anointing which comes upon an individual or in some cases also the Holy Spirit is also portrayed as, as fire. And brethren, he says that it, it is a stream that comes to stay within us or that flows from within us. A stream that is always in motion. A stream, a stream that influences us from within and expresses itself on the outside. And it's also the river of living water. The source of this river is life. And that is God himself. And this river influences and affects everyone that it comes into contact with. And many of us are weak and stagnant as Christians. While we have the Holy Spirit, and we ask ourselves that why? Why do we remain weak and stagnant and have no influence on others? It is because we have refused to become that channel for that mighty power to be at work in us. And brother, we want to give room that the mighty power of God will be at work in us. The dove which is symbolized, brethren, is telling us that he doesn't come to use any kind of force or coercion. 
but he's so gentle and he entreats us in a gentle manner. He doesn't strive, but yet he is able to exert every influence if we would give him room. If we would give him that room, and if we would allow ourselves to be that conduit, if and only if we would not allow sin and selfishness to have the best part of us, that stream would flow and be a blessing unto others. That stream would flow and be a blessing unto others. And brethren, that stream is living. And this morning, we want to pray that, Lord, let your stream flow from within me. Let your stream flow from within me. Let your stream flow from within me and influence others and be a blessing unto others. May I not be stagnant in my development. May I not be stagnant in my growth. May I not be stagnant in my knowledge of the Lord. May I not be stagnant in, in any provision that the Lord has ordained for me. In the name of Jesus. Remember in this promise of the Holy Spirit was, 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 was given unto all that believe on Christ Jesus. And he said, anyone that would believe, let him come after me. And if you and I have believed on him, then brethren, it is a promise unto us. In Acts chapter 2.38, Peter then said unto them, Repent and be ye baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and unto your children, and all that are afar off, as many as the Lord our God shall call. This morning, a promise that is unto me, I would not allow it to lie waste. A promise that is unto my children, I would not allow it to lie waste. And every provision that God has purposed and destined for me, I will not allow it to lie waste. It is a promise unto me and unto you. Brethren, there are some who received the miraculous gifts of God and the provisions of God. And all of us have received His grace unto salvation. And subsequently, he has promised unto us the gift of the Holy Ghost with all his provisions. And I believe that many of us have received this gift when we were baptized in the, in the Holy Ghost. But we want to put it to use and bring it unto bear that, Lord, your power would be at work through me and your spirit would flow through me, O God. It will flow through me. And the extent to which I give room determines the extent to which it will make an impact in my life. The extent to which I, I, I allow him to flow through me. It's just like you have a tube or you can have a small straw through which water passes. But the one who comes with a big hose allows so much to be expressed through him. And this morning, Lord, I come before you asking, O oh God, that there will be an increase in capacity. There will be an increase in capacity, O oh God. There will be an increase in the yearning for you. There will be an increase in the longing for you. There will be an increase, O oh God, in, in how I avail myself unto your use. There will be an increase, O oh God, in how, how I listen unto your voice. There will be an increase, O oh God, in how I respond unto the things that you, you instruct and commit unto me. There will be an increase, O oh God, in how I allow the Holy Spirit to flow and to express to me in the name of Jesus. The Lord, I would focus and give heed, O oh God, and attention 
unto that which you have for me. But when there are many who allow their time to be wasted. And if you go through the day, just whiling away the time, just attending to normal business, attending to normal work as usual, and there is no room that you commit unto him, that Lord. As I go through my day-to-day life, I give you room. As I sit behind my computer, I give you room. As I am driving on the street, O oh God, I am in tune with you and I am giving you room, O oh God, that if you beckon unto me that stop your car at this place, I would stop. If you beckon unto me that enter into this shop, I would enter into that shop. If you beckon unto me that, that return back to the house, I would return back to the house. And this is one who is attentive and listening and fully aware that there is an expression from inside of him. And it transcends from within unto without. And you become a blessing unto another and another and another. And then the life that you live will no longer be a life about you and yourself alone. But the Lord will be able to express himself and minister unto others through you and I. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, the things that limit us, the things that hinders us, the things that the things that that serves as a blockage and, and prevent the expression of the Holy Spirit from within us. We would want to deal with them and give room and give way. The Lord, you said that sin shall not have dominion over us. And Lord, I declare, O oh God, that every sin that is in my life would give way. Every sin that is in the life of our brethren, O oh God, would give way. Every influences of the enemy in the name of Jesus would give way. Any, any, any voice. Says, O oh God, that that do not give glory unto Your name, that that instructs us to turn to the left or to the right. Uh, Lord, we declare that it will give way, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, habits, O oh God, and various commitments and things that we have entangled ourselves with, that do not give glory unto Your name. That causes the Holy Spirit to be grieved. And that causes the Holy Spirit to to withdraw from us. This morning we are asking, O God, that you will deliver us from them. You will hold up our hands, O God, and deliver us, O God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Wherein the Lord has given unto us access unto his throne room by means of his spirit that he has given unto us. And he has given us grace to be able to do exploits by means of his spirit that he has given unto us. And there was a time when the people of Israel would speak unto Moses that you go and speak unto God on our behalf. Because they found themselves not to be worthy to stand before God. But you and I have been given that grace and that veil is removed. We have been given that grace and we have been given the fullness of the Holy Spirit by which reason we can open our mouths and express ourselves before him. By which reason we can stand before him unashamed and receive a washing and a cleansing of garments. By which reason we can stand before him and enter into the holiest of holiest and minister the deep things of God and bring unto bear. Therefore, Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you would lift us up, O oh God. The hands, O oh God, that are down, you lift up. The heads that are down, you lift up, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And establish our feet upon that place that we can freely and freely receive, O oh God, and commit unto others. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And brethren, many times we also belittle the power of the of the Holy Spirit that is at work or that is able to be expressed in us. We belittle what power that is able to be expressed in us. And things are committed into our hands and we say that what for this is too big. It is it is just for the pastors. Opportunities come for us to portray the power of God. And yet in our mind, we have resigned ourselves, thinking there is no power at work in us. The Father, your word said, O God, that the least in the kingdom is greater than John the Baptist. By means of your Holy Spirit and your power at work in us, May you cause us, O God, to stand in our rightful places, O God, in the name of Jesus, and not to give excuses for any reason, O God, in the name of Jesus. Every place, O God, where there has been threatenings, that, O God, we have been perceiving ourselves, O God, in a low manner where we have been perceiving ourselves to be like grasshopper in the face of situations. Lord, we, we ask, oh God, for mercy, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That we would see and behold what great power has been committed unto us. In the name of Jesus. Makaso katali ni makali andalaba. Rabaso kamia kalama sota kalaba. That you want to will the power of the Holy Ghost right now and declare that I am a man of exploits. In the name of Jesus. I have built myself unto exploits. In the name of Jesus. I have built myself unto greater heights. In the name of Jesus. Rabaso katali ni mashola makatali ni balaba. He makota mani. In the name of Jesus, when Jesus received of the Holy Ghost, uh, he looked up and he saw that the heavens were open. Uh, brethren, he saw that yokes were broken. He saw that there was deliverance. He saw that there was unlimited access. Uh, in the name of Jesus, that Lord, as we have received of your spirit, may we perceive, O oh God, unlimited access. May we perceive, O oh God, unlimited power. May we perceive unlimited authority that has been committed unto us. We receive grace upon grace. We receive your might, O oh God, and we receive your power, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And as we go through our day-to-day -day life, O oh God, your spirit will freely express himself in us. And you said all that test should come unto you. All that test should come unto you. And you would give the living water. Father, we come before you, O God, with diverse kinds of tests. Diverse kinds of tests. And we declare, O God, that your Holy Spirit will be at work to assuage and to quench. Uh, every form of test in the name of Jesus. There is test, oh God, in, in, in various areas of our lives and we receive grace, oh God. Uh, in the area of marriages, you will quench test, oh God. Uh, in the area of businesses, you will quench test, oh God. Uh, in the area of, 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 of finances, you will quench test, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. May you quench every test. Lord, where there is a place of a test for healing. Lord, may you quench, oh God, that test for healing. In the name of Jesus. Let there be healing. Let there be strength to God. Let there be strength to God. Let there be strength to God. In the name of Jesus. That you will lead us beside the still waters. You will lead us beside the still waters, O oh God, of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and it will influence us, O oh God. Uh, it will run to us, O oh God. Uh, it will be a well of living water gushing out unto eternity. 
Makaro lianda la la masuta la ba. Rapa zuka taliam de le makalaba. Brethren, it is not intended to flow for today and tomorrow. There will be no flow. But it is intended to express itself continually unto eternity. In the name of Jesus. And we declare that none of our own will backslide. In the name of Jesus. None of our family folks will backslide. In the name of Jesus. But there will be, oh God, an increase upon increase. An increase upon increase. In the expression of the Holy Ghost upon our lives. In the name of Jesus. Bringing forth unto eternity in the name of Jesus. 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 And the issues, oh God. The issues, oh God. The issues of God and 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 there are hearts with so many issues uh, and it is this same belly that 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 receives an overflow of the spirit. But we are declaring that that overflow would cause a settlement onto issues. Uh, that overflow would override. And any kind of issues that clouds us, any kind of issues that weighs us down, any kind of issues uh, that makes us to be depressed, uh, any kind of issues uh, that takes away the glory of God uh, in the name of Jesus. Let it overflow, O oh God. Let it overflow, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Makazoka tarele balola baya. Rapa sola makatoli anda la makola baya. Repe sole makatoli ande se makola baya. Rapa basole makala masota la makali anda la ba. You said we should not be drunk with wine wherein is in excess, uh, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, and we ask, oh God, that each one of us receive an infilling. Uh, each one of us receive an overflow in the name of Jesus. And may it, oh God, uh, oh Overflow and run to us uh, in the name of Jesus. There will not be stagnation uh, in the name of Jesus. Makalele masuta la la makari andalaba. Rapa bazu katalele mashola makatala la makalaba. Repa sota lele mashola mazuta liya kalaba. In the name of Jesus, we breathe life into situations. We breathe life into situations and we speak life into situations in the name of Jesus and there will be a watering of God unto anything that is dead it will spring forth unto life it will spring forth unto life anything that is dead in our life we declare that it will spring forth unto life in the name of Jesus that the water of the Holy Ghost will come into contact with anything that is dead in our lives, anything that is dying in our lives, anything that is decaying, anything that is lying in waste. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Indeed, we give you glory, O God. Commit our day into your hands and we ask, O oh God, that as you have blessed us with a new day, we would eat of the goodness of this day and we will see your glory fulfilled in every place and in every life. In the name of Jesus, may you have your way in us. And let your glory be seen. We thank you. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.